Our bodies are constantly interacting with 50 to 60 hertz electrical fields and electromagnetic frequencies present in our environment. These interactions can lead to a build-up of electrical potential on our bodies, referred to as body voltage. Measuring this voltage can provide insights into our exposure to electrical 50 to 60 Hz EMFs and help us make informed decisions about our health. Body voltage is influenced by various factors, including proximity to electrical appliances, grounding and even the clothes we wear. Elevated body voltage levels have been linked to a range of health concerns, making it crucial to be aware of our exposure. By measuring body voltage, we can identify potential sources of EMF exposure in our homes and workplaces. This allows us to take steps to minimize our exposure and reduce the potential risks associated with high EMF levels. A multimeter is an essential tool for measuring body voltage. Not all multimeters are created equal, and selecting the right one is crucial for accurate measurements. When choosing a multimeter for measuring body voltage, it's essential to opt for one with high sensitivity and the capability to measure AC voltage in millivolts. Body voltage measurements typically fall within the millivolt range, so your multimeter needs to be sensitive enough to detect these small voltage fluctuations. Look for a multimeter with a resolution of at least 0.1 millivolts or better. AC voltage is the type of voltage induced by EMFs generated by 50 to 60 Hertz electricity in your homes and places of work. Before you begin measuring your body voltage, it's important to set up your multimeter correctly. This involves selecting the appropriate settings and ensuring the device is properly grounded. Start by setting your multimeter to measure AC voltage in the millivolt range. Refer to your multimeter's user manual for specific instructions on how to do this. Next, you'll need to ground the multimeter. This is typically done by connecting the ground lead, usually black, to a grounded object such as a metal pipe, outside grounded stake, or the grounding screw on an electrical outlet. Taking accurate body voltage readings. With your multimeter set up, you can now begin taking body voltage readings. To ensure accurate measurements, it's important to follow these steps carefully. Find a comfortable spot to sit or stand, ensuring you are wearing rubber-soled shoes and not touching any metal objects or floor with your skin. Hold the positive lead, usually red, of the multimeter by pinching the probe with your fingers. Interpreting your body voltage measurements. The readings you obtain from your multimeter represent your body voltage at that moment, in that location, and in that electrical environment. Understanding what these readings mean can provide valuable insights into your EMF exposure. Body voltage readings can vary depending on several factors, including your proximity to electrical devices, the type of clothing you're wearing, and even the time of day. Generally, lower body voltage readings are considered better, indicating lower EMF exposure. Higher readings may suggest a need to reduce your exposure by moving away from electrical devices or improving grounding. Grounding your body to reduce voltage. Grounding your body is an effective way to reduce body voltage and minimize the potential health effects of EMF exposure. Walking barefoot on the earth, also known as earthing, is a natural way to ground your body. The Earth's surface has a negative charge, which can help neutralize the positive charge that builds up on our bodies. Using grounding mats or sheets while you work or sleep is another way to stay grounded indoors. I have placed links in the description where you may purchase grounding products. These conductive surfaces connect to the grounding port of your electrical outlet providing a path for excess electrical charge to flow away from your body.